and welcome to the 6 minute core challenge. This is going to be an awesome little workout for your core. It's not going to take long, but you're really, really going to feel it everywhere. So we're going to do 6 moves, and we're going to go through each of them twice, doing each one for 25 seconds, and the real challenge is we're barely going to get any breaks. So we're going to go straight through this with only 5 seconds between each move to transition to the next one. So since we're going to be going so fast, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the moves right now. What we're going to start with is a reverse crunch pot. So, you're going to be laying on your back, we're going to bring in and up. So we're going to bring our knees in and up to the sky. So curl in and pop up, just like that. After that, we're going to flip over for forearm plank jacks. So, get into a nice forearm plank and all we're going to do is hop our legs in and out, just like if we were standing up and doing a jumping jack. After that, we're flipping back over for scissors. So one leg is straight out, hovering above the ground, one leg is straight towards the ceiling, and we're just going to switch places with them. So you can do whatever you want with your arms, rest them on your stomach, <laughs> by your side, we're just going to switch back and forth. After that, we are going to, actually, we're going to stay right here, because we're going to do bent knee taps. So we're going to start with our knees up at 90 degrees and bent, and all of the movement's coming from our hips. So we're just going to tap down to the ground and bring them back up. So tap down and then curl them back in as far as you can, keeping your lower back on the ground, just like that. So then we're going to flip over, like I wanted to do a second ago, and we're going to do knee to elbow planks. So just a nice, regular plank, and we're going to bring the knee to the outside of our elbow, just like that. All right, and then we're flipping over again for the last move, which is suitcases. So, what you're gonna do is we're just gonna lay out on the ground, and all we're gonna do is crunch in, kind of fold in on ourselves like a suitcase. So I'm gonna scoot up so I don't pull my mat up, and all we're gonna do is crunch in and together. So just like that. If you need to, because it's kind of a tough move, you can extend your let arms over your head and kind of use the momentum to help you crunch in. So, those are our six moves. We're gonna go through them twice each. I forgot my timer, so I'm gonna run out and grab it real quick. <laughs> All right, so, now that I have my timer, all you have to worry about is following along. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with that reverse crunch pop and we are gonna keep going from there. So, all right, and here we go. Reverse crunch pop, just like that. You just wanna go and keep going for the whole 25 seconds, and then I will tell you when we are switching to forearm plank jacks, which will be in about seven seconds. So just keep that reverse crunch in two, and now we're going to flip over and we're going to do those forearm plank jacks. So, just getting a nice plank and start going. Hopping your feet in and out. Just like you were doing a jumping jack, you want to still try and stay in a nice, tight, straight plank. Everything engaged. All you want to be trying to move is your legs in and out. And now we are going to switch. So let's hop back over or flip back over for scissors and go. So you want to keep your legs as straight as you can. If they bend, it's okay. Eventually, you will be able to do them with straight legs. So you just want to keep your core engaged, tight, suck your belly button in, and just keep scissoring your legs for six more seconds because we are almost done with this. And then we're going to go to bent knee taps. So here's our little break. And start with your knees up. All right. And just tap down. You want all the movement to come from your hips. And you want your knees to stay at 90 as much as you can possibly keep them there. So try not to let them straighten and tap the ground. We've got about six more seconds of this. And then we're going to flip back over for knee to elbow planks right now. So let's flip over knee to 
elbow planks and go. So you just want to bring your knee to the outside of your elbow, still keeping that nice, strong plank, core tight, everything engaged. These plank moves really work your whole core. And even more, you'll feel them in your shoulders, your arms, everywhere. It's a great move. All right, so we're going to flip back over for suitcases and start them now. Ooh. You really just want to focus on using your abs to pull you in here. We've only got 10 more seconds. This may be the toughest move of this little circuit. And last one. So we're going to go back to that reverse crunch pop right now. Go. All right. Keep popping. Curl in and pop up. It's the last time you're doing these. So just go hard and get them all in in these last eight seconds. Want to get as many in as you can with good form. And two, and one, one last one. All right, so now we're going to hop over for forearm plank jacks and go. Just remember, keep that nice little plank, good form, and just keep on hopping. Got 12 more seconds of this, and then we are switching to scissors. Try and keep your butt down as much as you can for these. And two, and scissors. All right, we're almost done, guys. And go. Legs straight, core engaged. Just nice little scissors. <laughs> keep going for the whole 25 seconds. I know you can. We're almost done with this core challenge. I hope your core is burning. <laughs> I can definitely feel it in mine. We've got about four more seconds, and then we're going to switch to those bent leg taps. All right, so here we go, and start with the bent leg taps, and down, and curl in. So you just want to focus on using your core, really when you're dropping your legs, using it to pull them back up. We're almost done with this, so we got three seconds, and then we're going to go to knee to elbow plank. So let's go ahead and switch, and go. So this is the last of the plank movements, which is always fun, <laughs> because plank movements are not my favorite, but they're so good for you. So just really focus, keeping your whole core engaged, really your whole body engaged, and we've only got five more seconds of just bringing your knee to your elbow. All right, and here's our last move, guys. We're gonna go for those suitcases. And remember, if you need to, just bring your arms above your head to help you with momentum. I may need to start doing that. Ooh. Really use your core to pull in at the end of this movement, we've only got a few left. Get your last one in and done. Oh, I haven't done suitcases in a while. Those are a great move. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined me for that. I hope that you got a nice little ab workout in. Maybe got your heart rate up a little. And thank you for joining me. 